Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rayapati and welcome back to my channel Rayapati. Today we are going to discuss a scenario that is posed in my channel Rayapati YouTube channel by Mr. Shaunak. Now the scenario goes like this. In a parameter, if you select any certain month, the, the values that are displayed should be the past 12 months from that month that is selected. Like if someone selects November 2020, it should show from December 2019 till November 2020. Okay, now let's see how to solve this. Now here, if you see, <coughs> this is a working scenario of it. Now if you see, see here, I have November 2020 here. If you see, the values are from November 2020 to December 2019, which is the 12 months period. Okay, now if I select for September, now it is September 2022, October 2019. Okay, how to achieve this? Now in order to achieve this, the process is a bit tricky, not that much, but a bit. There is a, see here in this order date, first thing you need is like, the main problem here is creating a parameter. Now once you create a parameter, then date diff, using date diff, you can achieve whatever you want. So how to create a parameter that too with months like this, like you should get only months here. Okay, month and year. Now for that, you have this date field. Here it is order date. In this, I'm going to create a custom. Date. And in this custom date, now the general tendency, whenever we talk about month year, the general tendency goes to getting, getting into this. Now, when you select this, you'll, you'll have only date part, which is the discrete values. Now, when I say, okay, now if you see the data type is numbers, and if you create a parameter on this, the, the issue is you are getting these numbers. These numbers are, this is nothing wrong. These numbers are the Julian numbers of those dates. Like the first of every month, these are the Julian numbers of those so that is why we are getting a problem. See here, now here we are getting values. How will you we display that in your, uh, what do you say, parameter? So that is a problem. So in order to avoid that problem, what we'll do is, now we'll create a custom date again. In this custom date, rather than taking month here, we'll take months. But here, be aware, when you if you take date part, it will give you discrete months, like only January, February and all, without years. So when you take date value, now here that is where you will get continuous months. Now let's see, when I say click OK, OK, this field is already exist. OK, I'll just name it as, this field is already existing because I already showed you a working model, right? So there I created, I'm creating that again with one, OK? Now here, if you see this, now let me drag it into the view. Now it will give you your continuous date. Now let me mark it as discrete. Now see, you are getting your value. Even in here, once I right click on this and I say create parameter, we need parameter, right? So I am saying create parameter. Now see, if you can see, you are getting values from 1st of 2000, January 1st of 2017 to December 1st of 2020. Okay. Now, now here you are having these dates. Now let me click on OK and let me click on like this, like show parameter. When you see here, you are getting date, but this is not looking so good, right? You need months in here, month and year. So I'm again going back in this and I am uh, clicking on edit. And in here, if you see display format in here, I will go down and select this, which will show you month and year. Okay, see now here it is August 2020 for the value that is there. Now, if you if I click on OK, now this will show you month and year. This is much be year better, right? Okay, the parameter part is done. Now the next part comes: how to get the last twelve months. Now, when someone says the last twelve, so it is taking like some sort of difference from the current month uh, month to the, la the whatever the months that are. The difference between those two months should be greater than less than or equal to twelve or something something like that. So whenever something like that is striking you, then that is the moment you have to go for something like date diff. In this, I will select month. 
and in this i'll take my date field which is order date and then i will take order date parameter see this is what we created just now order date month one parameter i'll just take this okay the calculation is valid now i'll name it as date if with with para okay now let me click on apply okay now when i click this when i uh, see one more problem is when i drag drag this in here now this is a, a, a continuous field now you are getting these because of the aggregation that is happening we don't want aggregation right so what we will do is we will name make this as a dimension because this is we are talking about date field which is a discrete value so it should be a dimension now when i drag this in here you will see see you are having the date diff now it is december 2020 so from there the difference between the months you can see all the way till 47 because we are starting with zero okay now what do we want we want the same date diff for the last 12 months right so i'm just going to duplicate this and i'm going to click edit and in here i am putting see when i am doing this uh, there is, is only half correct we will come back again and make it a total correct scenario now when i say less than 12 okay apply okay now it is a boolean field now let me drag the boolean field here now see you are getting your false here and if you see from december 2020 to january 2020 it is showing true now here it looks right but the moment i change this see the problem is when when in your uh, parameter the month is august and uh, there is a september in it then that is minus one right and our logic is not completely right because we said less than two so that is not what we are looking for so again i will come here and i will again alter this saying and okay let me keep it as capital date diff of i'm again writing the calculation okay minus t sorry date diff of okay now month comma order date comma same order date what month month one parameter we should be greater than c right should the the months that are should be displayed are where the date diff is greater than zero that the months before that not after that okay now when i say apply here now you can see these will turn into false okay now let me click on apply see all these have turned into false now click on okay and then this date diff para i am dragging it into filters and i'm selecting only true okay now if you see see okay small mistake i should have taken equal to my bad it is less greater than or equal to zero because we need current month also to be displayed right so apply okay now when i select august see from august to the last year september now see from zero to eleven so we have total 12 months even if you change them it will change accordingly february 2022 march 2019 it goes the same okay i hope you like this uh, solution guys uh and uh, as it goes uh please do like subscribe and share my channel rai party and also share it among your friends who are working on tableau and are stuck at some point and they need a way out okay and if you have any doubts this is my uh, telegram channel you can join in here and uh, this channel uh, link is present in the description so please uh, if you want to discuss any scenario or any issue there are many people here who, uh, that are uh, helping out and even i i to i to try to contribute as much as i can okay thank you guys thanks a lot